Vultures are nature's most efficient scavengers. Out of the nine different species of vultures found in India, six are exclusive to Assam. Out of these six, three are critically endangered. Once a very common sight in the skies, these graceful creatures are on the verge of extinction in India. Efforts have been made to preserve these unique species and ensure that they do not become extinct. One such venture is the Vulture Conservation Breeding Centre at Rani in Guwahati. With their numbers rapidly decreasing, we spoke to Mr. Sachin Ranade, a scientist with the Bombay Natural History Society and the head of the Vulture Conservation Breeding Centre here in Guwahati. Good evening, my name is Sachin Ranade and I am associated with this program for last 20 years. I am working as a scientist in Bombay Natural History Society and we are working mainly on vultures. We have six staff, one veterinary officer and uh, myself. Since last 20 years, uh, we are working and we are trying to save these birds from extinction. In early 1990s, we found that the vultures were declining in number and uh, systematically we ruled out some other uh, cases like uh, there could be uh, scanty food or uh, habitat loss. Uh, ultimately, we come to conclusion that the vultures were dying due to a drug called diclofenac. The drug is given generally to the cattle and if the cattle dies within 72 hours of administration, then uh, this drug remains in the liver and kidney of these cattle and uh, vultures are the scavengers so after the death of the cattle vulture feed on this cattle and uh, when this uh, uh, diclofenac is consumed by these uh, vultures uh, vultures body cannot tolerate this medicines so due to kidney failure the vultures dies and that's how we have we india have lost more than 99 percent of vultures in assam with the assam forest department we are working on this issue and in Rani, in 2007, we started this program. By this time, we have about 120 birds. We are dealing with two species, slender bill vulture and white back vultures. And we are trying to breed both of these vultures. So we are working ex situ and in situ. Ex situ means we, are, we have brought some birds here and we are trying to breed those birds. And we are successful since last say, seven, eight years. At the same time, we are doing different kind of work that is called as in situ. That means we are trying to save these birds in wild. We wanted to make some area safe for vultures. Uh, as you know, we are breeding these birds and after the successful breeding, after some years, we are going to release this bird back to wild. In, in 2007, we started from uh, zero. Uh, now, the, slowly the numbers are increasing and we have now uh, around 50 birds born in this captivity. The Bombay Natural History Society and the Assam Forest Department took up the initiative to tackle this issue by setting up the Vulture Conservation and Breeding Centre at Rani in 2007. Yes, rescues are always important because uh, vultures are long-living birds. They are slow breeders. We have estimated that vultures could be living around 70 years. Oldest bird here could be some uh, 15 to 20 years old. First five years of their life, they are not going to breed. After that, one pair will be formed and one pair will lay a only single egg per year. These particularly vultures like to be in group, in flock. And uh, these birds are kept together in this big aviary, which is 100 feet long, 40 feet wide. And uh, the birds are free there. They can fly there. They can prepare their own nest. They feed together. They can take water. They can, there are water baths as well as where they can take a bath. So it is just like in nature. From the time this conservation centre was started in 2007 till date, it has managed to breed 50 vultures and release them into the wild. The goal is to continue this and to spread awareness till these winged scavengers reach a sizable number.